door and what have you. You can see, look, where that's gone a darker red. For some reason, it just stays like that. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's something to be looked into or what have you, but, um... Right. That's what I noticed as well. On this DAF, even its default SCS, it has the lift axle light. Wait a minute, if I get in the shadow, you might be able to see it. Yeah, can you see it? The little orange light. Why can we not have that on the rest of the trucks? I'm not complaining about the game. The game's brilliant. What SCS had done since the first one was just pff, phenomenal. Are you going to let me out or not? So what I'll do is I'll drive to the repair station. Or should I? Yeah, because I want to show you guys the different chassis that you can get for the truck. But, oh, it's brilliant how well SES has done this game. It would, does anyone actually know when they're releasing the T-Range? Because I would like to know. So I'm quite intrigued to drive that truck. It'd be quite good. That's right, it's all clear. Go, go, go. Oh, it's just right, you just pull out. But, um, yeah. If you guys do enjoy the commentary, do um, let me know. This is the first video I've done with just pure commentary on it. Well, I don't know, this might actually might be quite a short video. Look at the time, I can't remember what time I start recording though. Bugger. Beep. But yeah, what's your what's your guy's favourite truck? Like, if you had to, if you had to go, if you ever went self-employed and you had to have your own truck, we'll get pull that hamper. What truck would you have? And I know majority of you are gonna say, Scania. What are you on about diesel? Get a grip. Yes, obviously the mighty mighty Scania. I would consider a Scania, but I really like the Volvo. I've not been in a new Volvo. The last, what's the last shape Volvo I went in? It would have been the FH12. Nah, was it 13? I can't remember now. I've been in the gen. I remember when, when I was little, when the Generation One FHs, the very first FH come out. I remember because there's a Volvo dealer where my dad worked, the comp the haulage company where I, the same company that I went in the truck ride with the F10 Volvo. They had a Volvo dealer just down the road, and they had a load of these FHs in. I remember going in them when they very first come out. I think they had 420s or something, they were big, weren't they? They are the biggest engine of 480s, they're like the bee's knees back then. Oh, why is it always raining when I do these videos? But yeah. What kind of mod would you guys like to see, like actual official add-on from SCS? Because they, they were meant to do the rigid, the rigid, the rigid thing as well and they were meant to do um what was the other one the trailer they took they did talk about the trailer ownership but i don't know what happened there i don't know they don't really seem to put very much on the blog i know that um game con is it gamescon at the minute um releasing for the like well not releasing they're doing the promo for your american truck simulator But it would be nice to see some pretty cool DLC come out. Like trailer ownership, I'm definitely like, as well for fridges, like doing multi drops. How cool would that be? Just cruise around and doing multi drops. That'd be awesome, that being a whole aspect of the game. I know some of you be going, Diesel, you gotta do all the, the um, coding and stuff for that. I was like, I know. But if it's paid DLC, I would pay for that. I would honestly pay to have multi drops. Wait there, fella. And go. Don't rush yourself. I ain't got a clue how long these videos are going to be. If I can get out in one, I will. Flunk. 
Right, obviously when you get the upgrade shop, cabs, just the same. This is the ones you want, the chassis. Different variants of chassis. Some of them are weird, that's the ones I've got now. The two axes, full lift. Whoa. <laughs> I love the variation you can get with some of these trucks, they're just unreal. Oh no, that one, that was the one I had. There's one on here. That's just the ordinary. This is the one that has the tuned engines and stuff in it. But when you turn, for some reason, the cab jolts around. Like, it, it does not, it's not like an exact smooth ride. When you go on the engines, there we are, look. 617 brake horsepower. It's a beast and a half, isn't it? You can edit this on the back as well if you want to, but so I'll just quickly run through them. You can either have that, 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 or that. That's what I had, that one, the exhausts. You can't put side skirts on the, um, on the um, side bit though. Oh, that lagged a bit then. And for the paints, I'll show you guys what I mean. Look, see what I mean? Like it comes out really weird. Like a diff like different colour. You can tell like the colour difference on some of them. Look, they go orange and it comes out red. I don't dare touch that because that might crash the game. But yeah. There is um my first commentary video. Hold on, I've got to do this properly. Well, don't want to smack the scan yet. I would like to do. If anyone knows, that's what I meant to ask you guys. If anyone knows a good map mod, like for forestry, like for forestry trucking, I would love to do the tag axle like scan year with like forestry trucking. If that's something you guys could see, but you'll have got you guys will have to tell me a map. But I don't want a map mod where you got to start the game again. I just want one that you can add on to the game. I know majority of them maps, you do have to start the game again. But if there's a map out there that you guys know that has that forestry stuff on it, that all you have to do is just restart the game. Well, you don't have to restart the game. You just add it into the game and go and play it. Do let me know. Please do um, tell me the name or even send me the link if you can to the site, the mod site that it's on. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making the video. So, here we go, that is the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did and you would like to see more, please let me know, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video, and until then, enjoy the rest of your day, 10-4 Diesel Dog out!